guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to come on here today and show you um, this cute little coffin that I made, um, that I posted on my Instagram. And this is actually going to Amy, um, which is, uh, who is Amy Franco on um, Instagram. And I'm pretty sure she doesn't have a YouTube um, channel, but she is um, at Amy, oh, it's Amy and then the letter M Franco. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> about a year ago, it was actually, I think this time last year, she had made some really cute felt um, candy. They look like peppermints and they were like orange and pink and then like a lighter pink, like a darker pink and lighter pink. And um, I had reached out to her and said, hey, could I, are you selling those? Could I purchase some of those? And she was like, no, no, I'll just send them to you. Um, which she did and um, and then she sent me a couple extra little felties and I can't remember what which ones the other one ones were um, I have them in my Christmas stash but anyway um, I thought that was very very sweet of her and I had told her oh I'll send you something in return and um, <clears throat> anyway here it is an entire year later I have never sent her anything um, and I finally finally did it so, well, I haven't sent it yet, but I finally made her something and I'm gonna send it out this week and she'll probably get it right around, right at Halloween time, hopefully. Um, and so, uh, really sorry about that, Amy, that it's taken me so long and um, hopefully um, you just think better late than never, I guess. So <laughs> anyway, um, I really appreciate you and I just wanted to show my thanks and um, gift you this this super cute coffin box. Um, so um, I cannot remember where I got this cut file. If anybody knows, please let me know so I can give credit to the um, person who made this cut file. That way, if anybody wants to um, make it themselves next year, they um, will know where to get it. <clears throat> I bought it like three years ago, so I just cannot recall where I got it from. So um, anyway, this is just a little belly band to kind of keep this lid um, attached. And all it is is a piece of ribbon that I tied um, around the package, tied it into a bow, and then just to keep it all together, I just glued um, this little um, couple pieces of ephemera from the Frank Garcia 31 collection. I added a little bit of that snow um, tool which I actually got uh, mine from, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, I got it online somewhere. <clears throat> um, it's before I knew you guys were getting it, everybody was getting it at Dollar Tree. Um, but I bought two like giant rolls and um, so I've got tons and then I added a little eyelash trim and then the little cobweb and potion bottle from the 31 collection and then um, a little spider sticker or like enamel sticker from um michael's and then this is from the busy sidewalks i think collection this little star so um the crepe paper christmas collection is where that's from so anyway that just kind of slides on there um i thought that was super cute and then um i just want to show you close up this the lid of this box so the way the box the file comes is you you get the lid and you get the bottom piece it actually does not come with the layering pieces i really wish that it did um <clears throat> because i think that gives it just that extra special um touch being able to add the panels um if you didn't add the panels then you could easily just make the lid out of a different you know just like make the bottom black and then do the lid out of um uh the designer paper um but i wanted to sew each individual panel so all i did was i cut two lids out one in black and then one in the paper i wanted to use so this is the really cute pink cobweb paper from the 31 collection. And then I just kind of cut each piece out and left a little like eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch border around. Um, so once I got them all cut out, laid them on just to see if that was right, if I needed to trim any more off. Once I had that figured out, then I went ahead and just um, with gold thread on my machine stitched around um, each panel so you can see I did each panel and then for the top most of you know how to do this but what i did was um i actually laid a piece of tool down i just used white tool and then stitched all the way around and then just left this part open so this was open 
and I added in all the sequins, figured out how many I wanted in there, and then when I had that figured out, I just went ahead and closed it off. Um, <clears throat> at that point, I glued each panel down. So I didn't wanna sew it directly onto the lid box prior to putting the bo lid box together um, because I don't like it to show through. I like a nice clean look inside. So you could do it um, the way I did it or just to avoid having to glue it, you could sew it directly to the lid box prior to gluing it together. So you could certainly do that. I just didn't want to. So anyway, that's the, oops, that's the top of the box. Super cute. And then <clears throat> for the inside, ah, I am filling it um, full of these 31 flowers that I made. Um, so I'm just including this little snake that I actually got from, I think it was from Oh gosh, now I can't remember, but it was in my craft purge Halloween swap. Someone had stuck it in my little loaded box and I thought I would include it in here because it's super cute. And, um, <clears throat> and then I'll just show you in the box. I'll just pull out all the flowers. I posted some of these on my um, Instagram, um, but here they are. Super cute. So these are just... Um, I think AliExpress dies, um, this one here is an AliExpress die, and this little sprig here I think is AliExpress. And then this flower, which makes a smaller one and a bigger one, um, I, I'm not 100% sure, but it might be like Tonic Studios or someone like that. And then it comes with this, like this sprig here. <clears throat> There's actually three sizes of this. And I use like the medium size, I think, and the small. And then, um, so yeah, that's what usually goes with this flower, but I wanted to use this one. This is supposed to be more of a Christmassy, like little holly berries, but I thought it was kind of spooky looking cut out in the black um, paper. So you can see that kind of close up. I used kind of a glittery black paper. I thought that was really, really, really cute. Um, so yeah, so I just, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I'm getting over COVID and it's, I'm fine now. I'm just tired, a little bit tired, like more than normal. And um, I have this residual cough, which is really a, a, a nuisance. So, but otherwise everything's good. So anyway, um, yeah, so those are the flowers that I made to go inside the box. And then I just added a bunch of shred and um, there's some little spiders. Is that shred and the spiders are something someone else included in a package to me. And I just included that in here and then added um, some of the, the sequins mix that's here. I just sprinkled some of that in the bottom. So anyway, that's what I will, will be gifting to Amy. Um, Amy, I hope you like this. I had a, a lot of fun um, making this coffin. I made one a few years back and I always knew I was going to make more because it's just a fun cut file. So um, <clears throat> like I said, if I can figure out what cut file it's from, I'll let you guys know because um, you're gonna want to create it. It's it's very different than the other um, uh, coffins I've seen. All, all the other ones I've found are, have just a flat top, and I love those, but this one just, I don't know, it just, I really like how it has kind of a beveled look to it, and I just think it's really um, extra special, so. Anyway, that's it, you guys. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, Amy, thanks for your patience on um, my getting this to you, and uh, happy Halloween, everybody. Bye.